Another day, another Comicsgate campaign buried under Indiegogo's new shadow banning policy. Actually, campaigns. This is uh, Rocket. Now, Rocket 2 just launched. Rocket 1 is still in demand. You can grab that and back it now and get it sent out to you now. Here's Randy Hallow says, Attention, Comicsgate. Both Rocket campaigns by Steve Dye are no longer searchable on Indiegogo. The shadow ban grows. And there you go. These are the campaigns here. Hang on, let me grow to them here. Uh, Rocket number one. Yeah, you can grab this uh, right now. It'll ship out to you. Now, this is concerning because Rocket Mission 2 is only 82% funded, but it is no longer able to be found on through uh, Indiegogo search. If I type in uh, Rocket here, exclamation mark, it's not an I. Uh, you will not find it. The only way that you can access this campaign is through uh, direct links that you're going to find on Twitter or wherever else, YouTube. Uh, and this is this is an ongoing issue now. This has been happening uh, consistently now for at least a couple of weeks. And as far as we're aware, as far as we've been able to find when it comes to comic books, it is only books uh, that are associated with CG that we've been able to find uh, that have been affected. It started with Frog G, Voodoo Gods and Magic, a completely um, you know unoff- inoffensive uh, comic here by uh, Ink Spots, uh, Jason Baskin, and Frog G himself. Uh, you know, just a normal fit. And the, the the worrying thing about this one is these guys don't have a massive platform from which to spread their links out to everyone, not like others do. Uh, well, someone who does have a massive platform is uh, John Mallon. He, you know, he gets a lot of people on his on his YouTube. But even so, how much are these shadow bands affecting? these comics we can't really answer that we can only guess it it's common sense that if they're not appearing in the search or in the explore then yeah you're losing foot traffic sales here's another big one inglorious rex by shane davis i actually pointed out the other day that uh, this book is slight tracking slightly lower than uh the previous one the previous book and by all accounts, you know, everyone has received this book. It all came out on time. Uh, Shane's audience has grown. People are really enjoying the first book. Uh, you would expect it to be tracking uh, at least the same or a little bit above. And it makes you wonder, well, is that because you won't find this on the homepage? Uh, you know, random people who were just browsing, who were previously interested in comics, aren't finding it. Who's to say? I mean put two and two together it makes sense to me that that would be the case there's also johnny phantasm extreme 93 is shadow banned while in demand this campaign run its entire length no problem now you can't find it uh and of course uh, a lot of people have been talking about the private american as well uh by mike barron and chris braley have been uh, this has appeared on uh, bounding into comics Chris will probably do an article about it on Bleeding Full. But uh, yeah, another one bites the dust in terms of the explore section and the search function. Uh, Now, if you go to Indiegogo's, what is it? It's a support blog thing. They have an article here that says, how can I find my campaign? And this is the rules that they lay out here. How can I find my campaign? Why can't I find it? Well, Indiegogo says, on Indiegogo, search works by campaign title. If you are unable to find your campaign by title, you may not have enough activity on your campaign page. After the first 48 hours, your campaign needs at least two contributions to be searchable on Indiegogo. Well, I think every single one of these campaigns absolutely qualify. This is not the issue here with these campaigns. Uh, but if you scroll down here, they have a little uh, addendum here. Campaigns are not guaranteed to be listed in search. If your campaign is not appearing in search, we recommend you find ways to activate your community to increase engagement on your campaign. Your campaign will still be accessible via your campaign URL, but be sure to share the URL with your network and community. In other words, you will be shadow banned. Now, there's no language in here on this page that says, if we find your campaign is uh, you know, in violation of any of our trust and safety guidelines, 
Uh, we will also make your campaign unsearchable. All it says is if your campaign is not having enough activity, then you will be taken off Explore and Search. So we don't know what's happening. And unfortunately, Indiegogo uh, seem to no longer be responding to any correspondence. Uh, the only messages a couple of creators have gotten back are boilerplate uh, you know, auto replies from some bot. We don't know if anyone's looking into this. We are completely in the dark. But if you look back on all the campaigns that are affected here, I mean, it's starting to look it's starting to look bad. These are all campaigns that are CG related, uh, you know, growing in this community that we have here on YouTube. And yeah, it's not looking good. Even though we don't 100% know, uh, it's not looking good. There's another thing that's just been, people have realized that even on Google now, if you type in, just, okay, so just say I go back to Private American and I grab the actual URL uh, and I go back to Google, and I put site first and then I hit it, nothing. It's been de-indexed off Google. Google isn't trolling that anymore. It's not happening to every single campaign. Let me check uh, Shane Davis's Inglorious Rex campaign. Check that out. All right. It's not there. What about uh, Graveyard Shift? I mean, these are the these are the biggest campaigns that it's, are affecting. You wouldn't imagine it's got anything to do with site traffic or anything like that. These are massive campaigns. No, can't find it. Now, I think you can still find... Uh, let's go to Rocket Mission. Oh, I just deleted it. Let's go to Rocket Mission 1. I'll copy that and paste it in here. All right, so that one... So we don't know exactly what's going on here. I Look... Like, you guys, if you guys know how this stuff works, uh, please leave a comment. Let me know. I've got no idea why this is happening. I don't know what it signifies. All I know is that it's something interesting that's happening that has never happened before. Uh, now, speaking of things that are starting to happen, of course, we're not just going to take this uh, lying down. We're going to uh, fight back against this. Here's a new website. Well, here's a, a blending page. Not Previously, privateamerican.com was just a forward to uh, the Indiegogo page. Now it's a landing page and they're putting links to, uh, it looks like they're going to be launching on Crowdfunder or they are, have already launched. I don't think there's any backers yet. I don't know if they've advertised this yet, but uh, it looks like it's going to be available on Crowdfunder. We checked out that site the other day on the channel. There's the Indiegogo link. Looks like it's coming to Kickstarter or it is on Kickstarter. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, it's, a, yeah, it's a preview. Okay, so that's not, that's not up yet, but that looks like it's coming. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There's that's happening there. Um, Shane Davis as well for Inglorious Rex has also put up a site for his campaign. Uh, at the moment, it is only available through Indiegogo. So that's where that is. But I assume if Shane ends up doing something else, they'll be able to uh, find them through there as well. Uh also, you've got guys who are just taking it into their own hands and doing their own crowd funds on their own platforms. This is Aerith.com, the comics Huey zine, and this is available to order through their site now. Uh, it's pretty fancy stuff. It's a great looking site. It works a lot like a uh, shop. There's a lot more options to add to cart and all that sort of stuff. You can earn rewards, all this cool stuff. Uh, so they're doing it by themselves. And just recently... Stuntman Comics, aka Mandy Summers and Peter Gilmore, uh, launch have just launched their Jack the Ripper Vampire Hunter issue, as she promised, as she warned. If Indiegogo keeps up with these shenanigans like they did, censoring her uh, Gem Shock, that she would go it alone on her own website. And here it is; she's done it. She launched the other day, and it's going amazingly. Nearly 300 backers, 15,000 raised. And if this, if, if this was on Indiegogo, it would include shipping. She's chosen not to do that, so it would actually be a lot higher than this. But, uh, yeah, by all accounts, it's uh, it's going very well. She will eventually put it on Indiegogo as a uh, bare-bones campaign, but not just yet. And I think this is the way that we have to go. I know I'm doing these videos. I don't want to rile anyone up into thinking, oh, we've got to go out and boycott Indiegogo. No, let's not do that. Like A lot of the people that we want to support and help out, are 
um, they're reliant on Indiegogo. Indiegogo has been the place where we uh, fund our books. We're still funding our books there, even though random people who don't know us about it, about us already probably won't be able to find us there, or at least some of us there anymore. It's still a place for us to sell our books and support the creators and the projects that you want to support. My argument is I think now more than ever, we need to get out there and explore our options, uh, you know, get in Jewish, get, get out there, put our books out in as many places as possible so that we can kind of, uh, you know, disrupt whatever is happening to us, uh, the, whatever this shadow banning is about. Even if it's completely just a glitch or a developer issue, the end result is still the same. People aren't finding these campaigns that I've highlighted unless they already are aware of them. And that's what we don't want. So, yeah, look, this is what I'm saying now. Get out onto as many platforms as you can. Get in front of as many people as you can. Make your own website if you can. And uh, offer, offer it, it wherever you can out there on the Internet because... Yeah, we need to get these books out. We need to get them seen by as many people as possible. And yeah, that's my uh, that's my personal opinion on it. And I'll probably actually undoubtedly be doing that for the future for the Lucent. Uh, it's it's craziness out there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, what's happening? Uh, I can't believe another one's come. And it seems like every day another one bites the dust so uh yeah worrying indeed uh but uh if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like uh subscribe to the channel get that bell on and consider becoming a member because you are helping me to create brand new comics as we speak all right that's it for me i'll see you on the next one bye